Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman and Lois, Season 1, Episode 6. Today we're going to be doing my review slash breakdown for the episode, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we do have this episode to talk about, lots of stuff went down, we need to freak out about, like, the kind of Lex reveal, and then at the end of the episode with Jordan freaking out with his powers and losing control, and them going to the fortress. However, I want to start off this video with this piece of news that came from TV Line just before tonight's episode aired. So apparently, in episode 2 of Superman Lois Season 1, they were going to have a Supergirl cameo. This was in the form of a photo featuring Kara, Clark, and herself. It was actually shot, however they cut it, and the showrunner has made it clear that this was intentionally cut. And he goes on to explain why they actually cut out this connection to Supergirl, because that was like a scene that was supposed to connect to kind of the greater plans that they had for the season that would connect to like Crisis, the Arrowverse, like they had a Batwoman crossover that was planned, but that can go ahead, so with this they cut it on purpose due to the impossibility of planning air dates and connections with the other shows whilst the pandemic is going on. So obviously the connected tissue this season is not very linked and it feels quite separate to Man Lois than some of the other Arava shows out there. And so yeah, he basically explains in this interview and you can go check out the article in the description below that it was all down to a weird set of circumstances where the production is going to cross over and like that was one of the main reasons that the Supergirl cameo got cut, but also like why they couldn't connect this season much. However, apparently Todd Helbing is hopeful about next season about possibly mapping out other Arrowverse crossovers to set up, but obviously things are still up in the air. Okay, so that's kind of what I wanted to go over first. Now let's go ahead and get into this week's episode. So episode 6, Superman Lois is finally back and it is great again like I mean all these episodes so far I haven't seen a bad episode at all and there was some really good use of Superman in this episode like in terms of his powers and the way that he tries to control them because at one point he gets shot by Kryptonite and you can see the anger in his eyes but as he later talks to Jordan he has to hold that back to make sure that people trust him because, you know, when he first came, people had lots of questions about can they trust someone who is this powerful and could essentially kill everyone, take over the whole world. And so it just goes to prove why he's Superman. And so at the start of the episode, we have Superman who saves Jordan after he is attacked by Tag. That was the cliffhanger of the episode before. We know that Tag got sent to some sort of like meta academy and there he was able to break out because his powers developed. And he's got super speed that can match Superman, they mentioned that in the episode. And so he's stronger and he's faster than Jordan, and so Superman is able to nearly stop him. However, he derails the train, but Superman stops the train and they're all fine. So yeah, that's kind of how the episode starts. And apparently Tag thought Jordan gave him powers. This leads into what happens with Sarah in this episode, because he kidnaps Sarah at some point. And then that's where you get the kryptonite scene, because Superman shows up and Superman is on Tag's side. But then, like, Lois's dad is completely against because, you know, he is just that military guy who just doesn't care for human life and calls them, like, subject number one, number two, whatever. And so just after this opening scene, Clark and Lois talk, and Lois talks about how she wants to investigate some minds. She thinks that Morgan Edge possibly is the stranger. She has a few ideas about that. And then Edge goes to the mines. They offer Lana a big new job and you kind of know that this is setting up something because now Lana's going to be on the inside and at the end of the episode Lana comes around after what happens with Sarah and Tag and Tag getting powers so she knows that something greater is happening inside Smallville and this is where you have her actually working undercover probably until the rest of the season so at one point Edge is definitely going to find out but yeah so Lana accepts this job Kyle is obviously very happy, he's like Morgan Edge's number one fan, he's a bit bummed at first that he doesn't get a job, however he's happy in the end that uh, his wife gets a job. So Lois and Lex, they're working together still, and you know, he's still under the guise that he is a journalist, but throughout this episode he reveals more and more about himself. As they meet again, they go to investigate the mines, he's able to create these 
really, really good fake IDs, and in the mines, they find X kryptonite and so that's when Leslie La, out of nowhere, comes out, attacks with her heat vision, Lois confronts Lex about his tech right after this, and she knows something else is up, that he's not a journalist, and he does reveal that the reason why he's here is for Edge, and he wants to save people, but he won't reveal who he truly is yet, but she's gonna find out pretty soon if they do continue to work together, because after all, at the end of the day, he does want to be sort of like a hero, I mean, he is trying to save people, and he isn't your typical Lex Luthor, however, you know, he has this prejudice against Superman, but, I mean, that's very valid, considering that he comes from a planet where Superman goes evil, and, I mean, we're gonna see that in the next few episodes. I think next week is actually David Ramsey's episode, and we're gonna see, like, more of Lex's backstory, and we're probably gonna see those evil Superman again. Okay, so let's continue on with this. So, past the edge scenes, you have Jordan who reveals like he has this high pitched noise in his head and his eyes turn red in the school. This happens throughout the episode, it's like a recurring theme. And Jonathan is able to keep it in check for the most time. However, you know, his anger and you know, whatever is going on inside of him is uncontrollable. And at one point, they try and train his powers and he's able to punch a log and actually make like a proper dent in it rather than just hurting himself. So that's kind of like the progression you see with Jordan in this episode. But Tag Harris shows up again, he goes to Sarah's house, he accidentally knocks her out, his powers are freaking out, and so Sarah's disappeared, people realize, and his parents see on the CCTV camera footage that Tag Harris was at the house, and it's at this point that she wakes up with Tag in Metropolis, and uh, she basically is kind of led on to what is happening and he gives her ideas about Jordan and Jordan later in the episode lies to Sarah about him having powers which ultimately he is very very unhappy about doing but he's trying to protect her and so they have this big football match inside Metropolis and so they're against like their old teammates and like you know some of the high school bullies that they had and there is this like one big confrontation Obviously, uh, they smack them around on the football pitch, you know, because why not? And then, you know, you have the confrontation after, and that's at the point where Jonathan gets his hand broken by Jordan, who loses control, and he does like a super punch into Jonathan's hand, who tries to stop his brother. Obviously, he's just being a good brother, however, that comes with a consequence, because he does break his hand, and it's pretty nasty, and this might affect his, like, football season, I guess you could call it. And so Lois and Marcus, as he calls himself, have that big confrontation towards the end of the episode that I previously referenced. And at the end of the episode, Clark is told about this. And, you know, there is definitely some suspicion about, like, who he actually is. But, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to end up working together, even if Superman is in the mix. Because I think the common enemy here definitely is Morgan Edge and what he's doing to all these people because he is creating superpower people, and that is who, you know, Lex fears, really, those superpower people, when, like, if you have someone controlling and creating, like, a bunch of supermen who are probably going to turn out to be evil, I mean, that is his duty to stop them, right? And so, then we move on, and we have that scene where we are in Metropolis, Superman shows up, you have Tag, and then the soldiers shoot like a bunch of kryptonite bullets into Superman and this was such a great scene, like one of my favorite scenes throughout the whole episode and again, it didn't feel like a CW show, the effects and the way it was shot was really really good and seeing Superman angry, I mean it was unlike anything I've seen from him so, you know, it was something brand new and it was very very exciting and this obviously goes to show that he can't really trust Lois's dad because he is ruthless and he has stocked up all of his people with live ammunition lined with kryptonite so that's taking it over the edge and there is definitely going to be more confrontation there very soon and so yeah Jordan can't hold in his powers any longer and Clark is told about Lois being attacked by Leslie La and the fact that Leslie La is a Kryptonian as well and she has heat vision so that is a big revelation about what is going on and Lana has a revelation at the exact same time with Lois so she's going to be working undercover after she realized what was happening with Tag and there's something great going on with Morgan Edge 
And so the final scene of the episode is Jordan freaking out after he talks to his mum and Superman takes him to the Fortress of Solitude to try and figure out what's happening, why is he having these sort of freak out moments with his heat vision, with his powers, and uh, yeah, so his dad's going to help him out. But that's about it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I thought it was a really, really good episode. I would say it's actually better than The Flash this week. Obviously, it's a shame that Supergirl is away. However, there is always references to Supergirl and Superman Lois somehow, and I really like that they did this interview saying that there were plans to involve Superman Lois more into the Supergirl mythos. However, because of the current circumstances, they had to cut like a bunch of scenes. But hopefully Superman and Lois is like more involved in the Arrowverse next season with probably some crossovers. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Click here to watch my Flash review last night if you missed that. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.